Alright, hey guys, it's me, your girl, Simmer Shy Mommy here, and I am here with my first ever current household video. Okay, um, if you recognize this saucy little mama right here, it's Shy Shine. And that is the model that I use for all of my um, events on Facebook. Um, sh at first, like, well, I originally, I originally created her when I, um, I made Summer. Now, for those of you who don't know, Summer, who lives here, um, Summer was my model. I created her after I downloaded, um, the model career, um, off of, um, my the Sims. So, and then I figured Summer needed a best friend and I could be her best friend. So I created, um, Shy, who was named after me, to live in this house. So she is another version of the mini Sim selves that I have created. I'm so egotistical and narcissistic in a way, but it's okay <laughs> because it's Sims. Um, now, um, Shy is currently, it says that she wants to be a blog artist, but that kind of recently just changed because I, um, I was doing some doodling and some fiddling around in, um, in the, uh, creative which is why we are missing a trait, um, and such things like that, which I will fix later when she gets off of work. She is currently, um, a patrol officer. She will be promoted today to, um, I don't even know what the next thing is, but it will be level five. And this is when I should be able to like, you know, get ready to make her the international super spy that she has always wanted to be. Cause come on, who doesn't want to be a spy? Um, this house, I love it. Um, I'm in legacy Island three and these are some starter home houses that you can actually move into because they are really, really cheap. And why not? This handsome fella, before I get into the whole interior of the house, this handsome fella is Tate Flood. He is a um, EA generated sim. I think he was a tourist from Egypt when Shy first met him at the bar. And I was just like, oh, I can totally change him up into this hunk Adonis which I believe that I actually have I've, I've done that um, he wants to be a master of mysticism so uh, he's just starting out in the fortune teller career um, of course they have a lot of money right now just because I was doing some interior decorating because in my off-camera households who cares if I cheat I surely don't so it doesn't really matter um here is his car it's the 2011 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor I love it it's it's a really nice car for him because you know he's a manly man rugged you know he gets out to the dirt and all that <laughs> but um let me show you their house um I've been playing this household, well, like, shy by herself because she started, like, as a single sim. I've been playing with her for, like, months now. And you wouldn't tell because I wouldn't play with her, play with her. But anytime I would come into this household, it would usually be for an event on a Facebook, right? So, um, here is the studio. Like, I've turned, I changed the attic into a studio for her to get ready for when she's going out on the town. If I need a new profile picture, I'll use these cityscape backgrounds. Or when an event comes up, I'll change the wallpaper. And, um, things like that. Um, if you saw the event last night, you totally know what these two things were used for. And my post player. Okay. Um, this is just a regular room. I have no idea why Tate slept up here last night in this raggedy old bed. I just had this for, say if they have, uh, his family from Egypt 
come over uh, when his brothers could stay or shy has a few relatives and maybe her cousin could come over and whatnot how am i missing work where where is she okay she's at work but she's missing work maybe everything reset really quickly oh well since she's out here in her outer rear here is shy shine um i'm pretty sure i got the last name shine from the movie let it shine on disney channel it was one of those days where you just can't think of a last name so yes and i love this outfit i love this jacket the jacket is actually an accessory and this is a one piece set with her knee high boots and her little fluffy hat i love it i think it's casual chic and oh she is starving oh you poor baby error traps i love them and hate them at the same time back to this son of a gun well i'll let him enjoy his little time before he goes to work while i finish telling you about this house um i have yet to do anything to the upstairs like everything you see up here is um how it came uh besides you know her studio um but i did as you can see spruce up the downstairs starting with their um starting with their study um turn on the lights so it's kind of dim but it has a uh, navy blue wood floors that I love and I like to play with like different patterns when it comes to my study room because I like my sims to grab inspiration from things and whatnot so chess martial arts painting and block breaking are some of the many things I like I'm trying to get this done in a fashionably manner because my game has been crashing so I have to figure that out but I also have some things to do for class this um coming week so busy schedule trying to fit this video in they have a um it's like a laundry room slash bathroom i'm not sure if it was a laundry room first or a bathroom first but uh yeah <laughs> it gets um a lot of use because shy is always in and out of different events always changing her clothes lord knows this girl loves to play dress up this is uh we got paid cool this is um a separate room that was set up to be a baby's room as you can tell by this one miscellaneous uh toy but um i was going to change it into something else but now i'm thinking that i'm ready to have them start a family so i'll probably just leave it as is okay and just build off from there now this room i love it I think it is one of my favorite bedrooms because it's simple yet it uh it just feels like a nice room like if this was my room I would be pretty darn happy full-length mirror which is a necessity for any flawless female a nice potted plant which I'm starting to like I usually never play with potted potted plants but now I'm starting to see that they actually add a nice type of decor to the room a nice picture frame some books an ipad um uh, and a different painting i'm not sure where this painting is from it might be from 70s 80s and 90s but i love it just to give it an extra abstract splash of color against this crazy wall pattern but i love it um laptop here for shy to do her investigative reports on along with a whole bunch of you know case files <laughs> by the bed because she is a workaholic okay like seriously but um i do i love this room i love how the colors come together i love the weird little artwork that i put around here and the one random little trash can because who doesn't need a trash bin in their room i know i do Okay, I think the only thing that this room is missing that my room doesn't have is a mini fridge. I might have to get, get them one of those and slap it in this corner right here. It's a lot of open space. They have a ensuite. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they have an ensuite bathroom with his and hers towels. Um, I actually had a lot of fun 
creating this tile rack right here and excuse the lag I believe it's because of the snow and fraps and my computer hates me sometimes but yes I had a lot of fun decorating the tiles that came with master suite or ambition I'm not sure but I love it I have hers in the top and his on the bottom um, and there's nothing too special about this bathroom because I haven't changed the wallpaper or tiles yet but as you can see I've been adding little nooks and crannies and very random objects that you could probably find in the uh, in the bathrooms and you know bubble bath and a candle for any soothing bath that's necessary here is um a closet I I really like whoever built this house which is probably RF long um I love it because I, I did add a, a random picture of Shai's aunt riding a horse. So, um, I love it. I love the hallway. It has, like, it makes it feel like an actual home. Like, I love when hallways are like this. Oh, Shai's home. And look, the lights just came on automatically. Um, <laughs> but, um yes this is a closet you come in you hang up your coats but I haven't added the coat rack and things this is I left it as is because I just started redecorating like today because I haven't played with her household in forever I know I've been leaving my girl hanging whenever I get to see her it's work 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 but um I love this living room I love the floor I'm not even sure what pattern it is but it, I love it. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. These chairs are custom content from where, baby, I do not know. But, <laughs> um, I felt like it went nicely with the rest of the living room since I gave them this white couch. You know, got a lot of pictures over here of friends and family. Like Tate has two sisters. They're right there. Here's Shy's. Oh, here we go. Here's Shy's little brother. You know? So it's it's a nice little room. Okay? Um, I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. It's probably because I'm pressed for time. And I if I would have done what I wanted to do earlier. I'm pretty sure this video would have come out a lot better, but I really do want to get something out to you guys. So I hope that you appreciate this in a sense, because I'm just doing this for you guys to make sure that you know that I still care about this game, um, even though Sims 4 has come out and I will get another episode of that Let's Play because I only have one out so far and it is killing me inside. But school comes first and the sims 3 is easier to record um when necessary okay um i have her degree up on the wall and i think his degree is still in his inventory it is um yes i will do that um i don't want to take that out sorry i want to take this out and put it on the wall so you know to show that they both have some accomplishments you know even though you know was, um shy went to Drexel State University and Tate went to Florida State University but tomato tomato those are just you know there right um this fireplace doesn't get used as nearly as much as it should but i like it to be um a focal point of the room with this bright pink flower protruding out of it my favorite room my favorite room of all time of course is my kitchen like i'll start over here even though you just saw you know a lot of the you know 
exciting things. Um, what I'm starting to do is, you know, see how I had these two little empty places. I'm having a lot. Take, will you come eat your little sandwich, boy? Um, sandwich and tea. I like playing with deco items now and using that um the O M S P. I believe that's the right thing for it. I love it because it gives me the freedom to do so many different things. Like I actually put this cup next to this sandwich. You know, um, I'm going to probably put something right here and something right there. Maybe add some more deco plates and whatnot like I did over here. Um, toaster, you know, any shy and all shies of the world love our coffee. I love coffee. So it's only right that Shy has her own little Keurig machine, as do I, with, as a tea maker as well, and coffee grounds. Everybody needs fresh coffee grounds. A nice cup of coffee, got some raisins, flour, and some hot chocolate, um, some extra pans, because Shy loves to eat and cook. I, one of the things that I like about this is if you notice that this is the um, the shelf, well the cabinet from late night I believe, but there are two cups right here. These two cups do not come with it, and nor do these bowls right here. But using that OMSP, I was able to put those right in there. So. See, this is what it normally looks like. Just the two stack of plates. And that's what it looks like over there. You see the difference? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun decorating this kitchen. I clearly have to change the top of the wood to match the backsplashes and whatnot. But I love it. Um, I like playing with deco items because it makes your, your kitchen look a lot more like a kitchen open flower right here nice little clock um some you know different little things i'm babbling and it sucks but i'm just so happy that i can actually record and get five seconds of time worth it what i'm going to do and like actually what is my hope is since this is set up like a pantry i hope to you know get a bunch of cans and boxes of food and crates of food and things like this and turn this into an actual pantry so next time or possibly on Facebook I will um, and Twitter and Tumblr I will upload this picture and it will be of a pantry filled with food because usually you come in and you got pantry you got cups and plates and all miscellaneous kitchen items that do not have a place forefront are in the pantry so yes this is our um well their humble abode and see she is so much himself it's come home after a long day of work what do you do turn on the game like a boss yeah um but yes, I, um, this is just a really quick video because I actually have to get ready, uh, to go. I hope that you all truly enjoyed this little tour of my, uh, current household. I'm probably going to get them started on a family quickly after, um, I established the rest of their friendship because, you know, I mean, the, their relationship again because they uh once I changed their ages because of a glitch no actually I changed my age span which then in turn tried to age them up instead of doing what I wanted it to do initially I have to get them back up and oh my I kind of totally forgot that I turned her into a witch so yeah I gotta work on a lot of different things but um this was something that was really 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 random um and I kinda just wanted you all to know that I'm still playing the game know that I'm still eager willing and able to get you um some videos out so um let me know if you like this if you did thumbs up if you did not thumbs down 
either way i will appreciate your honesty um so yeah that is about it chris lauder wants to talk so sure why not i believe that's our boss or whatnot um, but yes, please rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. I kind of enjoyed doing it. I wish I had more time to articulate and actually tell you more about them. But I'm telling you, these guys have a great relationship. Like, he does what he needs to do. She does what she needs to do. And... I think it's awesome. I really do. But, um, yeah. And I also have, like, the money in Rest Mod. So they pay taxes. They get tax refunds. And things like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, alright. I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye, guys. I love you all so much. I really can't wait to be able to get you out a full, detailed, actual video. Because this this is just to basically show you guys that I'm still alive and that I miss you all and that I truly appreciate all of you who are still around. The ones that still like view my videos and talk about my videos and encourage me. Which leads me to, you know, my shout out for Destiny off of Facebook. She actually kicked me into high gear um, today and she messaged me and was like, Hey, um, are you going to be up? Are you going to be uploading a video soon? And I was like, yes, I'm working on it now. And I totally appreciate people like that for checking in on me. That shows that their interest and that their support is still there. And that means the world to me. So destiny, love, I thank you so much. You mean so much to me. And I hope you have a very special day. As well as all of you guys, I gotta go. I I love you all. I just have to say that. Like I, I truly do. I love every single one of you. So that's it. So as I say and I always will, happy swimming. I have a very summerific day. Bye guys.